Hi there. Welcome to all. In last session, we have studied the continuous assignment statements. In this session, we are going to study the operators used in data flow modeling or the operators used in Verilog. What is operators? Operators act on the operands to produce the desired results. So the operators act on the operands. The Verilog provides various type of operators. Operators types are discussed in the next slides. The basic operator types here D1 and D2 means and is operator. Then Then operator types. The Verilog provides different operator types. It can be a arithmetic, logic, relational, equality, bitwise, reduction, shift, concatenation, conditional. Some of these operators are similar to operators used in C programming language. Let me say one by one. First, the arithmetic operators. So all of you know about the arithmetic operators. First one is the multiplication. Second one is the division. Third one addition, subtraction, modulus and power. That means the exponent, a power. Okay. So in arithmetic operators, all the operators are required to operands. Okay, two operands. Let me see. There are two types of arithmetic operators. That is binary and unary. Binary operators. Binary arithmetic operators are multiply, divide, add, subtract, power, and modulus. The binary operator takes two operands. Let me see the example. Consider the numbers A is 4 bit binary 0011 b is 4 bit binary 0100 and d is decimal 6 e is decimal 4 and f is 2 okay then next we are going to perform the operations by using operators first a star b that represent a multiplication of b so multiply a and b so it gives one one double zero here now we are not performing the and operation here it is a basic multiplication operation next one d divided by e divide d by e evolve it to one okay d is six e is four so here's, here it gives the quotient then a plus b a and add a and b evaluate 4 bit binary 0 triple 1 just like a r operation then b minus a it's a subtraction then f equal to e power f okay e is the power of f it is 6 okay 4 uh, 2 power 4 equal to that is a 16 here these are arithmetic operators if any operand bit has a value x then the result of the entire expression is x any one operand has a value x then the result of the entire expression is x this seems because if an operand value is not known precisely the result should be an unknown okay here it is not bitwise operation any one bit is x or unknown then the end result will be x x that is an unknown value we cannot deal the other bits okay right. then modulus next one the modulus operator produce the remainder from the division of two numbers they operate 
similarly to modulus of product in the C programming language. So 13 divided by 3 it is evolved to 1, 16 divided by 4 that is no remainder that is evolved to 0, minus 7 divided by 2 evolved to minus 1, 7 divided by minus 2 evolved to plus 1. Here the second one it takes the sign of the first operand okay it takes the sign of the first operand the second one 7 modulus minus 2 that represent plus 1 so it takes the sign of the first operand that is an important thing next one the operator plus and minus can also work as a unary operators the unary operators are used to specify the positive or negative sign of the operand the unary operators have a precedence than the binary plus or operators minus 4 it is a negative 4 plus 5 it is a positive 5 negative numbers are represented as two's complement internally in Verilog it is advisable to use negative number only if the type integer or real expression designers should avoid the negative numbers of the type triplets then base then number that means the size of the number then base number in the expression because they are converted to unsigned to complement number and hence the unexpected results so we cannot use the positive and the negative sign to all the numbers we can use only some uh, decimal number real numbers integer numbers do not use the numbers of this format number size base format then number see the example minus decimal one zero here is equal to two's complement of ten okay divided by five that is yields an unwanted result whereas the little bit the default machine word with okay so that here it is 232 minus 10 like that okay so do not use negative sign or positive sign in the number format that is size base number format okay right. the next operator is a logical logical you are having a three operators logical negative that means not operation it needs a one only one operands then ambassant ambassant logical and operation it needs two operands then bar bar there is a logical or operation it needs two operands so we you must understand the difference between logical and another one is a bitwise please wait so logical operators are logical and here we are using two and operation logical or and logical not operator ambassant represent and or the bar represent binary or operation of the binary operators the ex exclamation mark is represent the unary operator okay it's represent the not operation the logical operators always evolve it to the one bit value one bit value it always evolve it one bit value the output will be zero or one or x x is the unknown value if an operand is not equal to zero it is equal to logical one true condition if the if it is zero then 1 equal to 0 it, it is equal to logical 0 false condition ok if any operand bit is x or z it is equal to x and is normally treated by simulator as a false condition the logical operator takes variable or expression as operands ok so logical operation is entirely different so here we are going to see some examples use of parenthesis to group logical operations is highly recommended to improve readability consider a equal to 3 b equal to 0 and a and and b that is evaluate 
to 0 because is equal to logical 1 and logical 0 like that then a or b it is equal to 1 it is equal to logical 1 or operation of logical 0 then exclamation a that equal to 0 b it is equal to 1 okay if it is unknown values there what will happen a is 2 bit binary 0 x b is 2 bit binary 1 0 then a ambassador and ambassador b that is equal to x equal to x and logical 1 so the result is x that means unknown value consider the expression a equal to 2 and and b equal to 3 and it is equal to 1 if both a equal to 2 and b equal to 3 are true evaluate 0 if either is false ok logical operator output is 0 or 1 next one is a relational operators so relational operator is a four types that is a greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to. all the relational operators needs to operands the relational operators are greater than less than greater than or equal to and less than or equal to if the relational operators are used in expression the expression returns logical value of 1 if the expression is true otherwise it is logic 0 okay if there are any unknown or z in the operand the expression takes a value x this operator operator operators function exactly as the corresponding operators in the C programming language so the relational operator convert two different operands and produce the result logic 0 or logic 1 after comparing if it is satisfied the condition then it will produce the logic 1 otherwise it will produce logic 0 okay. let me see some examples consider a equal to 4 b equal to 3 x equal to 4 bit 1 0 1 0 y equal to 4 bit double 1 0 1 z equal to 4 bit 1 triple x first a is less than or equal to b it is logical 0 because a is greater than b but here the condition is not satisfied so it produces logical 0 a greater than b here it evaluates logical 1 because here the condition is satisfied a is greater than b a is greater than or equal to x y is greater than or equal to x so y is greater than or equal to x it is condition is satisfied logical 1 then y less than z here x are there so it will be to x because the parallax simulator cannot find which number is greater because the unknown values are there with with unknown values we cannot predict the result so the result is also unknown next one is a equality so equality has two types one is a equality inequality then case equality case inequality so all the equalities having two operands so equality operators are logical equality then logical inequality case equality case inequality okay here what's the difference between logical and the case the logical just check that or compare two different operand values and it produce the possible output is 0 1 x and it compare every bits whether it's same or not if any one operand having the value x then the result will be x the output will be x if both the numbers are equal then condition is satisfied means it will produce logic 1 if both the number is not equal means it will produce logic 0 for first one here if both the numbers are logic 
both numbers are not equal means it will produce logic 1 otherwise it will produce logic 0 if any one number having x then the result will be x if any one number having z the result will be x here okay so a is not equal to b result unknown if x and r is z in r b then case including x and z for comparison the case equality that is compare x and z for the comparison process so that it will not produce the result as x it will produce a result of 0 and 1 after comparison so this is the difference between case equality and logic equality okay right so case equality having three equal okay statement so a equal 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 b that means it compare all the bits present in a and b the bit may be 0 1 or x or z so it consider x and z for comparison so that it will produce a result is 0 and 1 the here is a difference a equal to 4 b equal to 3 x equal to 4 bit 1 0 1 0 o equal to 4 bit double 1 0 1 z equal to 4 bit 1 x x z and m equal to 4 bit binary 1 x x z n equal to 4 bit binary 1 x 1 2 plus these are the some inputs values then comparison a equal logical equal b so result is logical 0 because a b is not equal to 0 then x logical not equal to y result is logical 1 because both are not equal then x z equal to z so the result is x because the z having unknown values and high impedance then z equal to m yes it's pretty a logical one because all the bits are matched including x and z then z arithmetic equal to n so here is logical zero last bit significant last significant bit does not match so not equal to n means result is logical one it is both are not equal okay so these are the difference between this equality and logical equality next one is a bitwise operations so this is uh, here you have to remember the logical operations logical and logical or logical not here also the same okay here bitwise and bitwise or bitwise xr bitwise nor x nor operations bitwise Na not get bitwise and bitwise nor bitwise xr bitwise x nor here all the operation operators having two operands except not okay bitwise operators are negation that is a not and or xr x nor bitwise operator perform a bit by bit operation on two operands they take each bit of one operand and they perform the comparison with the corresponding bit not a comparison performing the operation with the corresponding bit in the other operand if one operand is shorter than other it will be bit extended with zero to match the length of the longer operand so if you are performing the bitwise operation both the operand should be in equal length otherwise we cannot perform okay always add zeros with the lower bit operands to match the length of the longer operand the logic table for the bit by bit of computation is shown next the yeah, z is treated as a x in bitwise operation the exception is the unary negation operator which is takes only one operand and operates on the bit of single operand okay 
so these are some truth table already we have studied in the class okay it bitways and bitways are bitways x are bitways x not so it provide the output as 0 1 and x okay right so this is a bitways operators next one the examples of bitways operators so x equal to 4 bit binary 1010 y equal to 4 bit binary 1101 z equal to 4 bit binary 10x1 first not x so the result is opposite 4 bit binary 0101 then x and y bitwise and operation so this is then x exclusive y that is a bitwise xr bitwise xr operations and bitwise r operation and bitwise nor operation and finally x and z see that very important x and z so x having 1010 z having 10x1 so the result is 10x0 here it is an and operation so here the bitwise operation produce the result along with the x okay right along with the x any one bit of one operand is x means the result is also x in the particular bit not the entire result in logical operation it will produce the x for entire operation in logical it will produce a single bit output logic 0 logic 1 and logic x so here it is a bitwise logic operations okay right so it is important to differentiate between the operator <coughs> bitwise operator from logical operator logical operator always produce logical value 0 1 x whereas bitwise operator yields a bit by bit value logical operator perform logical operation not bit by bit operation that is important different okay right so x equal to 4 bit binary 1010 y equal to 4 bit binary triple double zero double zero so x or y is a bitwise operation here the result is 1010 but x double or y that logical operation that is equivalent to logic 1 or logic 0 that is the result is single bit 1 but in bitwise the result is 4 bit binary 1010 here it is a difference so don't forget and don't confuse then reduction so reduction is having all the logical operations okay all the reduction operators needs one operands okay so reduction and reduction and reduction or reduction nor reduction xr reduction x nor so reduction operation needs only one operands it is very simple okay right so it is a bitwise operations okay right so reduction operator R and NAND NOR XR X NOR reduction operator takes only one operand. Reduce operator can perform the bitwise operation on the single vector operand and yields a single bit result. The different is the bitwise operations are on bit from two different operators. Whereas the reduction operators are on bits of same operand. The reduction op operators work bit by bit from right to left. Reduction operations <coughs> computed by the individual operands. Okay. Then the remaining NOR, X NOR are computed by inverting the result of NAND and R and XR respectively. Here see one, only one operand X equal to 4 bit binary 1010. So here and X and X equal to 1 and 0 and 1 and 0. So the result is 1 bit binary 0. Similarly R X the result is 1 bit binary 1. Then exclusive R X result is 0 because 
e even number of ones are there so result is zero if it is odd number the result will be one then a reduction xr xnr can be used for even or odd parity generation of the vector okay the use of similar set of symbols for a logical bitwise and the reduction operators is somewhat confusing initially the difference lies in the number of operands each operator takes and also value of result computed okay here the same operator symbol is used for logical bitwise and the reduction okay but in logical and bitwise we are using two operand in reduction we are using only one operand okay that is a difference next one is a shift operation so in shift operation we are having a right shift left shift arithmetic right shift arithmetic left shift so all the shift operations needs two operands right consider this is very basic one but the logic shift and the arithmetic shift having a difference okay the regular shift operator shift the vector operand to right or left by a specified number of bits the operands are the vector and the number of bits to shift when the bits are shifted the vacant bits positions are filled with zeros the shift operation do not wrap around arithmetic shift operator use context of the expression to determine the value with which fill the vector bits in normal shift operation we are shifting the number left or right if we are shifting the number to left then right side the vacant bits are available if we are shifting the bits to right the left side the vacant bits are available the vacant bits are filled by logic zero in in logic shift in arithmetic shift we need a calculation some other format is there to fill the vacant bits let me see some example first x equal to 4 bit binary double one double zero if you are shifting the x in right by one time what's the result so the one one zero zero is shifted as zero double one zero in left side the zero is a vacant bit that is filled by the zero okay the zero filled in the msp position okay similarly left sheet one left shift one bit the zeros filled in the lsp position left sheet two times two zeros filled in the left right side okay so this is a normal shift operation here you have no doubts consider the second example here we are consider the integer number a b c okay that is a signed data numbers signed data number that is an important point signed and a equal to 0 b equal to minus 10 so it is a minus 10 minus 10 is mentioned here then what is the result of c equal to a plus b arithmetic shift three times okay here the minus 10 is shifted three times right then after that adding that value with a then what is the result the result will be minus 2 decimal number due to the arithmetic shift okay let me see how this happen consider the plus shift it is represented by 1010 minus uh, plus 10 sorry plus 10 is represented by 1010 minus 10 is represented by 2's complement of 10 that is 0101 plus 1 the result is 0110 with the sign 1 sign bit is added at the msp position if you represent negative number we have to add the logic one if you have to represent the positive number you have to add the zero okay here it is a minus 10 so one is added so the final result will be one zero double one zero first right shift then uh, the sign bit is not shifted okay sign bit is as it is we, we no need to shift okay remaining four bits we have to shift so first right shift one vacant push vacant bits are available and the left side then second shift then two vacant position third shift three vacant position last zero 
the vacant bits are filled by sign bit logic okay by one so in the final result will be one sign bit msp is a sign bit remaining three ones and zero after two's complement of the above number uh, except sign bit sign bit is always one okay so no need to change no need to shift no need to take two's complement of sign bit okay the result will be one double zero one zero okay so here zero one zero represent logic two so the sign bit is one so it is a minus two okay so uh, this minus two is added with a a equal to already zero so the result will be minus two this is the solution of arithmetic shift so now you can feel the difference between logic shift and the arithmetic shift okay right next one the concatenation replication and conditional expression concatenation replication and conditional expression in concatenation we use two places okay concatenation number of operands is any number replication number of operands is any number conditional number of operands is three the only one operator it has a three operand is conditional operator so it has the question mark and colon symbol the concatenation operators provide the mechanism to append the triple operands the operands must be sized unsized operand not allowed because the size of the each operand must be known to computation of the size of the result so the size should be mentioned in concatenation process concatenation are expressed as a operand with traces with commas separating the operands operands can be scalar net or registers vector net or registers bit select part select sized constants okay these are the concatenation so let me see some example a equal to 1 bit binary 1 b equal to 2 bit binary 0 0 3 c is a 2 bit binary 1 0 d is a 3 bit binary 1 1 0 so y equal to p comma c the result will be so we have to join the operator value b and c so operator value b is 0 0 c is 1 0 so totally it is a 4 bit length so 0 0 1 0 4 bit binary 0 0 1 0 is the result of y equal to b comma c similarly y equal to a b c d and 3 bit binary double 0 1 here the result will be 11 bits okay right say this is a different way of writing the concatenation operator next one is a replication operator replication operator that is used with the concatenation so here the particular operands is repeated in n times okay repetitive concatenation of same number can be expressed by using replication constant Repli uh, replication constant sp specifies how many times i replicate the number inside the brackets okay consider the example register a okay and the register b and c are two bits okay the register d is uh, three bits so what's the result a equal to one bit binary one b equal to two bit binary double zero c is a uh, two bit binary one one zero d is a uh, three bit binary one one zero the y equal to four a that result is a is a one bit binary one so it is repeated four times so four bit binary double one double one then y equal to 4a comma 2b as a result y is 8 bit length 4a is 1111 and double zero double zero b is a zero so, okay so totally 8 bit okay next one is a y equal to 4a 2b comma c here okay, result is not a 8 bit okay 4a needs 4 bit then 2b needs 4 bit 8 bit then c is a uh, 2 bit 10 bits okay totally it's a 10 bit length here it wrongly mentioned as 8 okay so this is a replication operator here the operator is replicated n times 
then finally the conditional operators the conditional operator takes three operands okay so first one the conditional expression if the conditional expression is true then the true expression is evaluated if the conditional exp expression is false then false false expression is evaluated the condition expression is a first evaluator if the result is true then the true expression is evaluated if the result is false then false expression is evaluated if the result is x unknown value then both the true and false are evaluated and their result are compared by bit by bit okay right the action of the conditional operator is similar to the multiplexer so alternately it can be compared to the if else expression okay we can compare the conditional expression with if else expression let me see some example so this is an example for conditional operator it is a 2 2 1 multiplexer here one bit conditional line is there control line is there so see the last line and the output is uh, out input is uh, two inputs so uh, consider this one assign out equal to control question mark input one colon input to this line represent if the control equal to zero then false expression in input zero is equal to output if control input is one then input one is equal to output so this is a conditional expression let me see some example again conditional operations can be nested so we can use one conditional operation inside another one conditional operations okay right so by using the conditional operator we can use the multiplexer operations okay multiplexer uh, 2 to 1 4 is to 1 multiplexer like that okay right so in precedence we are comparing all the operators the conditional operator having lower precedence and the unary operator having a highest precedence okay then these are some extra uh, programming okay so this program is based on the conditional operator here the assign is mentioned one time this this is a single line okay this is a single line this is a program for multiplexer then this is a program for multiplexer by using conditional operator okay right this is a conditional operator this is a 4 is to 1 multiplexer so first s1 is evaluated if the s2 s1 is uh, 0 that means true means uh, 0 means false false means this expression is executed if the x1 is true then this one is executed okay right then it is a full order by using concordination expression okay concordination expression assign here c out comma sum that is equal to a plus b plus c in okay so the result and uh, sum and carry out is stored here that is the summary thank you for your cooperation i hope you are clear about operators used in verilog programming okay if you have any doubts please comment thank you bye